Hey guys, want to tell you a couple things that happened to me. Um, today is July 22nd, Sunday. Um, I ended up having a dream uh, that was very short, but to the point. Um, so this video is not going to be very long. Um, had this dream yesterday morning. Um, but before I had this dream... <clears throat> excuse me well I'll tell you the dream and then I'll tell you under the ground um there was this like doorway this hidden doorway passage that was in the ground and I was putting a bunch of kids in there hiding them and it was white and I closed the door and as I closed the door you know when you close a box sometimes you could still see light through at the corners well there was lava that I seen was coming and I knew that a er a volcano erupted so I had to try and get these kids out as fast as I can before the lava went in there and then uh, I woke up exactly at 10.01 okay and 10.01 means I cast the line for sounding I sound okay and um, I'm sounding the alarm right now that Jesus Christ is coming and I'm sounding the alarm that I know war is um, rising Earl ended up also telling me that he also had a dream, a nuclear dream, and about Jesus coming. Um, I I don't remember all of it, but um, he confirmed, or which vice versa, we both confirmed each other, um, <clears throat> that this dream that I had was indeed what was to come. And then um, Princess Carly also had a dream that I talked to her about last night, and it's really amazing. I can't wait till you guys watch her video. It's it's pretty sweet. Um, but uh, it also means a missile or a dart, a line and plummet with which mariners sound the depth of the sea. And it's like what we are doing right now. We're crying out from one end of the earth to the other to the depths of the sea. Okay. And then I was led to Psalms 13.3. <clears throat> Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death okay we need to be virtually awake right now especially in this times of trouble um because there is so much that is about to happen in such a little amount of time and then prior to uh july 21st okay it was july 20th um i was sitting there at the table there was nobody absolutely nobody in the house i wasn't listening to music wasn't doing nothing and I, I heard my name be called plain as day Mary, and it was loud, okay? And it made me kind of jump, but I knew it was God. And he tells me to look at the clock and look at the meaning. It was 12, 16 in the afternoon, okay? So I looked up the meaning in the Strongs of what it means, and it means to swell, okay? Well, a volcano swells up, right? Now... Um, the other meaning is Demetrius, which is an Ephesian, Ephesian Christian, right? Or a heathen silversmith of Ephesus belonging to Ceres. And I was like, what is Ceres, right? So I looked that up. And this is extremely interesting, okay? It says, now, I looked up Ceres, and it means that it is the largest object <clears throat> in the asteroid belt that lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, slightly closer to Mars' orbit. Its diameter is approximately 945 kilometers, making it the largest of the minor planets within the orbit of Neptune, the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. What is my point? Okay, July the 27th, we have a blood moon over Israel, right? And with others having, um, like Mr. William, Brother William, he got that word from the Lord that it would, you know, the blood moon is on the same timing for Israel. Um, what better time for the rapture to happen than then? Because then they would already be in mourning anyway. Um, it would really be like a sign to the Jews, which I do believe that this blood moon being over Israel means judgment. I really do believe that the time of Jacob's trouble is about to begin momentarily after. I don't know if it's a day, a week, a month. I don't know. But I know it's extremely, extremely soon. My other point is this, okay? Um, <clears throat> on the 27th, 
okay? We know that when we have blood moons, and right now we also have Mars that's out visible with the naked eye, um, which I thought was interesting with the word series as it's that, you know, the planet or whatever. And we all know there's really no such thing as planets. What they are is they're stars um, because it doesn't even talk about it in the Bible. Okay, but on the 27th, um, because of the way that the moon and everything is, there's there's a gravitational pull which could therefore offset making tons of earthquakes and volcanoes going off. Okay, has something to do with the shift. Okay, if anybody knows about that stuff, you know, you could look it up or whatever. I don't have time to explain it. Okay, but also July 27th, okay, is the 15th of Av. Okay, now what's interesting about this is called Tu Aviv, and that is a Jewish minor holiday known as Valentine's Day, plus there's a blood moon. Valentine's Day there's means lots of red and love, right? Well, it could be the mercy of God before judgment. Now, another thing I was also led, okay, was these two scriptures leading up to this, okay? July 30th through August 2nd is the new wine festival in Israel, which begins, okay? Now, July 30th is three days after this blood moon, okay? And it's also on different calendars, um, it could be, um, the, well, a couple, the two days before of, of nine. Um, I can't remember what calendar, but I know Steve Fletcher had stuff. No, I don't always agree with everybody's things, but that doesn't mean that you have to put a brother down. Okay. And, uh, he has done a lot of studies and his heart is, you know, for God. So if God is for us, who can be against us, right? And he is trying to preach the word of the Lord. Nobody, not even me, has all the answers. So if we did, we certainly wouldn't need a God and we certainly wouldn't need to be studying. Okay, so Isaiah 28, 1 says this. Woe to the crown, surrounding of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, double ash heap. Okay, is which, what that means. I shall be doubly fruitful. Because <clears throat> he's going to be fruitful and he's going to multiply his judgment across the land and he's going to uh, bless Israel because Israel is God's chosen nation. Okay. Whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are at the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. And we know wine means grape and grapes means uh, pressed. Okay. Through the wine pressing, which leads to the meaning of the new wine. Now, Joel 1, 5 says, Awake, you drunkards, and weep and wail, all you drunkards of wine, because of the new wine, for it has been cut off from your mouth. What better way to be cut off than at this new wine festival? Okay? First, you have lamenting and mourning. Then you have this massive celebration. Okay? And you have the new wine, and God's going to take that away just when you think everything's fine. Bam, he's going to take it away. Okay, yes, I believe the Bible's double fulfillment. I'm not trying to mix law with grace. I'm trying to present to you what I was led. Okay, and um, some older scriptures do go with the newer scriptures. So you can't just throw them out. Okay, so um, be watching, be waiting. Jesus is still coming and we are still waiting on him. We don't have much time. Um, so... Um, if, if you guys don't see me, please say a prayer for safe travels. The night of the 26th through the 3rd, we are going to Florida. We're actually driving. We was going to go to New York. Um, and some events happened, so we are unable to go there. We're going to Panama City, so, um, we're going to have a lot of fun, I hope. Um, and that is, um, the day of the blood, you know, the day, night, whatever, the blood moon that... We are officially going to be on the road leaving and then coming back a day before, quote unquote, on certain calendars of nine and also the reveal gender party for my friend, for her baby. So uh, please pray over this as always and have a blessed evening.